All right, we are kind of cruising around the station at this moment in time, waiting for a call to come through. We've heard over the radio that there was an accident, but we don't know if it's going to need EMS or anything just yet. We don't know if it was just like a fender bender. Um, so we're going to hang out and wait and see because I don't really want to jump the gun on this. So if we get a call, then we'll go. But otherwise, we kind of just need to hang out and kind of just see where this takes us because at this moment... Oh, never mind. Hey, um, Anchorage... <laughs> Direct Anchorage Fire Department. What's going on? It's probably a little bit unprofessional um on the on the radio, but you know. Let's see. This this is this might be the the accident call that we're gonna have to respond to. So we'll see. Otherwise, we're gonna have to just sort of hang out here for a little bit. Can we get fire and rescue down to the farms on Colonial for an MVA? Two vehicles involved, one entrapment. You know, I can't even be bothered typing all this out. So we're just gonna go ahead and stay on route. Um, all right, let's get going, folks. We're not gonna hang around for too long. Um, we're not gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> let's go ahead and hop in our ambulances. We're gonna take those two. They said it was two uh different vehicles involved in it, so we don't want to spend too long sort of just getting everything organized but let's get let's let these uh engines kind of go out first because they're on the left there so we're gonna see if we can get oh no nope, they're gonna let us go all right cool um let's get our lights on and let's get our way let's get going all right so they said that there was two vehicles involved in the accident so we don't want to um kind of jump the gun here so uh on colonial so we'll go left here and go up around the we'll go around the 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 uh gas station here so that we can actually get things at least on an organized level, kind of hauling down here. I hope it's not that large. Yeah, same here, honestly, to be honest, because uh, th those ones are usually don't end well. So let's see here, shall we? Let's find out exactly what's going on up here. Oh, that looks to be the scene there. So we're going to go ahead and park up on the side here. Uh, we do need to leave space for the um, uh, engines as well because they need to get in here. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, EMS is finally here. <laughs> they, looks like they've been waiting for a hot minute. Oh, right here. Okay, so, I mean, they're going to be... I guess uh, they, they're they supposed to be on the road. I mean, we were going to bring them up on the road, but I guess that works. Um, okay, we need to kind of... We need to get them out first. We need to uh, let the engine company get them out. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to jump the gun on this. We got to wait for them to get them out of the, the cars first, and then we'll start treating them. Please help. I can't feel my legs. We're working on it, buddy. We got to let these guys get you out first. My head is hurting so much. My legs need to... They both have injured legs, dude. So this guy's door is jammed on this side, and I'm assuming it won't be much better on this side either. So we're going to do our best to try and get him out. Ooh, yeah, okay, so they're going to do it from that side. That's pretty smart. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, we can get in from that side a little bit easier than this one, so... Okay, so this guy's been pulled out of this vehicle here, so they're going to start treating him. And this guy's just been pulled out of this one here as well, so now it's our time to get in here. Okay, all right, let's get in Let's get in here and see what's going on here. So let's go ahead and place down our monitor as well, because we want to make sure that this guy's going to be okay. Um, so we'll place down our monitor right there. All right. Let's go ahead and then sit down. All right. Sir, can you hear me? All right. Let's 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 just get like a basic response sort of thing here, okay? My leg, it hurts. We are we're going to help you, okay? So I say we're going to help you. Don't worry. All right. Uh, well, it just hurts. Okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is not what a leg should look like. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. Um, okay. Okay, let's get you sorted. So let's get... Uh, okay, Greg, go grab a splint for me. Uh, go grab a, a splint. Okay, why should I trust you? Why? Sir, we are trying to help you right now. Like, we're trying to help... Like, this dude seems very aggressive. I'm not going to lie to you right now. This guy seems to be, like, very much on edge, which is a little, a little worrying because... Generally, as a rule, when people are, like, upset like this, they tend to do... They tend to lash out. No, you are not. We are doing our best here sir okay uh right let's go ahead and take that all right okay uh we are gonna put a splint on your leg we're gonna put a splint on your leg so that we can get you to hospital okay we don't want i know this guy seems to be a little uh, a little bit on edge so i don't want to freak him out or anything like that so all right uh let's go normal here okay and then we're gonna go uh there we go okay all right, we're putting the splint on now. So, okay, splint is on. Okay, good. All right, okay. Um, all right, 
All right, split is on, so we're going to get you moved, all right? We're not going to hang around here for too long. This guy seems to be relatively stable. Now that he, it seems to be, like, just a broken leg and maybe, like, a little bit of a, a concussion from hitting the steering wheel or whatever, but... Or I guess maybe the window with the way the fact that he got hit like on the side, but uh, we should be able to move him without issue. So I'm gonna quickly grab my stretcher because um, I don't want to hang around for too too long. So let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be fine as far as I'm aware. Um, you are not helping. You're making the pain go higher. Uh, sir, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Sir, calm down, okay? We'll get you some pain meds, okay? We'll get you some pain meds. We'll get... And you're gaining less trust with me. Okay, look. We're not trying to help you. Okay, oh, sorry. We are trying to help you. We're not trying to hurt you is what I meant to say there. He's not staying calm. He's not. No, we can't sedate him. Okay, oh my god. All right. Um, Don't you dare put anything on me. Dude, this guy does not seem to be calming down. This, I don't know what we're supposed to do here. We can't really put him in the ambulance if he's going to be aggressive like that. Because in there, he's got access to, like, a lot of different stuff. He needs to calm down before we can get him in here. No, I... No, no, I need no hospital. Bro, you have a broken leg. How do... What do you mean? <laughs> like, this guy... Okay, this guy seems very uncooperative. Like, I don't think he's ever going to be... What do you mean, help? You're just making me have more pain. It gets worse before it gets better. We can give you pain medication in the ambulance, but we need to get you in the ambulance first. That's how this works. <laughs> What's all the screaming about? He's very uncooperative, dude. Okay, this guy just said he has glass in his pocket. Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh, I'll remove it. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll just remove the glass from his pocket. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, can I get this? All right. No, don't you dare take it, sir. It's for our safety, okay? You're kind of being, this guy's being, like, really, uh, uncooperative right now, so we don't want to take the risk. No, no, I won't use it. I, I need to remove it, okay? I got it from my car window. Dude, how do you get into a car accident and just grab the glass and pocket it, dude? Come on. <laughs> no, I'm grabbing my glass, sir. Don't. Don't do that. Don't. Go. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. I'm stepping back a minute. I'm stepping back. I'm not taking that risk, dude. Don't take it. We need to take it. We need to take. Okay, this dude has literally got a weapon on him, dude. I'm not giving you the glass. Come on, dude. Oh, <laughs> just whipped out a baton. He will break your other leg. Don't. I mean, trust me. I will stand up if I need to. Uh, sir, don't. It's not worth it. You're not going to get into it. Let go of the... Dude, this guy's got a hold of his wrist and everything. Oh, my God. Okay, he's got the glass off of him now. All right. Sir, I still have little bits of it. How much glass does this dude pocket? Oh, my God. How much has this dude got? <laughs> I think he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, if you know what I mean. You're not wrong. Dude, he needs to stop being so uncooperative. Okay. All right, there we go. He's finally on the stretcher okay oh my god this took so long <laughs> i will attack any of you when i get the chance sir calm down okay uh lord almighty okay let's get this organized to get out of here because this is ridiculous okay i'm gonna pick up my monitor as well please stop threatening the paramedics they're here to help you exactly this dude is just like i will grab my tiny bits of glass dude you're gonna hurt yourself more than anyone else okay i'm gonna be honest I will get up and stab one of you. Are, are you serious? I'm not afraid. We can't put him in the ambulance if he's going to try and stab us, dude. He's got access to so many more things in there. Bro, he just slapped him. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, what are you doing? No, whoa. Whoa. Hey, get back, dude. This dude just punched him in the mouth. Hey, get back. No, get back. Seriously, move. Matt, what... Are you not, dude? Get off right now! Oh my God, is this dude absolutely insane? This he slapped me. That doesn't mean you punch him. Are you nuts? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me! Jesus Christ! You know what? I'm moving him into the. I'm moving him into the ambulance. I don't care. I'm moving him in. 
Or, uh, you know, actually, maybe I should just put him over here so he's out of the way. What the hell is wrong with you? You are a paramedic. You don't punch a patient if you just get slapped. Are you serious? Your job is to help people, not punch them. This cop is trying to defend him, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I was trying to help and he slapped me so... Exactly, you took an oath. You took an oath to like, like protect and serve or whatever it is. I don't know, I think that might be cops, I can't remember. So I've had traumatic experience. I've never slapped anyone. Dude, he hit his head and is in severe pain. You think punching him repeatedly is okay? You could have stepped back. He was laying down on the thing. Like, we could have held him down. We could have held his arms down. There is many different things that you could have done. He said he would attack us. Yeah, that's the thing. The cops were right there. Right? Their job is to keep us safe. So if he's, like, going on to threaten us and, and, and then attack us, it's their job to fix that, not ours. You can't just throw punches at someone, dude. This is absolutely ridiculous, dude. Okay, you know what? We're getting this. Wait, right. sir... Do you want medical treatment or not? All right, this is your decision. We can't force medical treatment on you. So if you don't want it, we can tell you whether or not, you can tell us whether or not you want it. Okay, I just said to stop being aggressive and get yourself figured out while we transport you. All right, um, are you gonna leave that other paramedic? Yes, yes I am. I'm not having, I'm not taking him with me. Absolutely not. He just, just, he just punched the hell out of the patient that we're gonna have in the back of the thing, so. This man was drinking and dr You're admitting to drinking and drinking? <laughs> what is this guy on? <laughs> okay, uh, let's just say this. Uh, cuff him to the stretcher. This is insanity. All right, you know, he's gonna... They're gonna cuff him to the stretcher, so we're gonna get him moved into the back of the ambulance here. Okay, all right, he's cuffed to the stretcher now, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in here. All right, uh, one of you with me. Uh, I don't care which one. One of you are going to hop in with me just so that, uh, obviously, if he gets, like, super aggressive or whatever, you can deal with him. All right. Um, cool. All right. Uh, he's going to come with me, so that's fine. Uh, all right. Okay, let's get this out of here. Let's get everything moved. Let's get this guy transported. We're going to go ahead and pull away from the scene now, and then we're going to get this guy to the hospital because this is... Oh, my God, dude. So much just happened. I can't even... I can't feel my body now, dude. It's because you've been drinking so much, man. That explains the aggressive behavior, too. Alcohol tends to tends to do that, too. It makes you a little bit more aggressive, so... I'm not going to press charges on him for, the um, for like, hitting the paramedic, though, because paramedic did kind of just turn around and, like, smack the hell out of him afterwards, so... We're going to do our best to try and keep that... Actually, I should probably leave my lights on. Um, yeah, I want to try and do my best to keep everything organized here. I still have little bits of glass. You know what? You're handcuffed, so realistically, the only thing you could do is hurt yourself with that, and we all know that you're not going to do that. You're too narcissistic for that kind of thing. Okay. Jesus, dude. What an absolute mess of a scene, dude. How does someone do that? <laughs> oh, all right. Let's get him out. Okay. All right. Let's get him treated, and then uh, let's, uh, let's never, never have a situation like this again. Dear God, man. What? This is like the dark side of being a paramedic, this kind of thing. Jesus. Six time back. I wonder if he's been back for all the same things before.